Hi, I'm Mike Weaver, founder of Coach Them. And this is Association Coach 101. Welcome to Coach Them. This video will provide an overview of the platform to help you create drills and plans and share with your coaches throughout the season. For a more detailed walkthrough on features behind drills and plans, check out our help center. Now let's get started. Oh look, I received an email from Coach Them Association inviting me to the U12 AAA team. In the next 10 days, you're gonna be receiving videos and tutorials, helping you feel a little bit more comfortable about being on Coach Them. So let's go and click on the Create Password to get started. So let's create a password. This will bring you right into Coach Them and the product tours should pop up. Now for this video, we're gonna skip them, but they are very important for you to get a little bit more familiar on our platform. Let's go and set up everything. So click on the top right for the account. We're gonna come into the account settings. Now here's where you'll upload your picture. Put your name, your position, and your organization. Now let's get our teams all set up. So on the left panel, I'm a part of this association. I'm gonna click on the association and there are two buttons info which is going to display the contact number to your contact person with your association and your association name so let's click on manage with every team it includes four coaches having all your coaches within the team allows you to collectively work together to create that amazing drill or that awesome practice plan so let's go and add our coach to the team. Click on invite coach. Now we have to add it to the team. If you notice, it's in yellow. Well, that yellow corresponds to the update button on the right. In order for your coach to be invited by an email that you have received, you have to click on the update button in order to send out the message. Click on update. Now it's turned to orange. So this coach has been invited. They will receive an email. And once they click on the email just like you did and set up their password, they will turn green. But if for, for some reason they didn't receive the email, you could click on reinvite. You could activate or inactivate that coach. You could delete the coach and you could send them a message. So let's go to the drills page. This is where drills are created and accessed. The tool panels is on the left. You got your drill name at the top. You got your minutes for the drill, different unique templates. We have our save, duplicate, print, download image for those professional coaches, the share button, archive, trash, and new drill. Let's create a very quick drill. So let's add our net, rotate it around, click off it to deselect it, have our forward at the point, have our defenseman, gonna create a nice little station drill. 
put our goalie in net. Now I've been really liking our straight line tool. Skate with puck and where you're at to where you're going. And then if you select the line, there's a little blue anchor point that if you drag it, it turns into anchor point. Now I'm going to want our guy to post up on the hash mark. Quick little pass. Take our, our guy. I want him to come outside the blue line. So where I'm at, to where I'm going, select it, drag it, create another anchor point. And to finish it up, I want our defenseman to come up. I want him to pivot and backward skate. Now, with our new feature, Coach Them 2.0, we're able to select it. So I just went to the selection tool. You could select all of it, or you could just select individual lines. So I select this one, I'm gonna hold shift, then I'm gonna select all the lines here because I want to put them as red to make them a little bit different. Now let's go and say that this is probably the drill, the best drill, drill ever. And now getting to the right side, the personal. In order to go and add my drills to a folder, we use tags. So this drill would be a one verse one. I really like it as one of my favorites. And also, um, let's say a bottle, so the bottle drill. You're able to add the different tags for our filter feature, which is located at the top right here. And Let's let's go and make sure that our my assistant know, coaches know what they're doing. So we're gonna say that D carries puck behind net and passes to using this icon button. forward and let's go and save this. So as you're going to see, it puts it in favorites. We have it in one verse one and bottle. Now I think that this drill would be perfect for my team. So why not share it with my team? And it's as simple as clicking the share button, clicking my team, and clicking share. There also is an added feature of allowing edit. So if I wanted my assistant coaches to change up the drills or whatever they would, would like to do, they are more welcome to do it because we work together. So I'm gonna click on share. Now my coaches receive an email notifying them that they've received a new drill and they're able to go into it. Also, if I, think that maybe second thought, I want to not allow them to edit while well, I could unselect it. So now our team has received a drill. In addition to the drills that you create, you can also explore drills from other coaches through the team association and marketplace folders. The team folder is for you and your coaching staff to work together for the season. The association is for all the coaches in the organization. And marketplace provides over 400 drills across age groups of all levels to help you get you started. 
Now, let's go to the association. Looking through the association, hey, they got some pretty good drills. But you know what? This one, I, I think that we, we should add a regroup of this. You know what? Let's do that. So I have it right here, and I'm going to... I'm going to go steal it because you know what? We're all thieves. And I'm going to go and rename it Mike Alternate Version. And I click on OK. So now this is in my personal folder. So I've taken it and you know what? I think what we should do is, I think instead of them just going straight up, I think I would like to have them come back and then this to come back. Cause you know what? We need, we need to utilize all the ice. So let's go and save it. I've basically taken a drill and I have made it my own. And that's the power of Coach Them. So now let's close up the personal folder. And I want to just take a little look at the marketplace drills. I've been hearing that there's some awesome drills in here. And here's a cool little feature. Clicking up here, the view type allows you to visually, I'm a visual guy, visually, you're able to scroll through all the drills and any drills that I'm interested in putting a part of my personal, I'm able to by clicking this little add to personal, right? I just brought it into my personal folder. Also in shared, hey, creating an awesome group that you're able to add some coaches that are not necessarily within your association this is where the shared area is individual coaches that you know are buddies with you could go and share them right in here and this is where they would appear so i think i'm good here so let's go and create that perfect practice plan so the practice plan Again, we have a great little walkthrough. I'm gonna close this for now. Now, drills, same drills panel appears on the right. And now we have a plans panel on the left. Same title at the top, you have your, your date, your same buttons appear at the top here. And this is where we're gonna, in the middle is gonna create our practice plan. So with the plan title, I am suggesting to go and make it a little bit more detailed than you normally would. So a plan title. So I'm with Golding Park. It's uh, 07. And I'm going to say this is plan one for the year. Also, it would be great to put it on there as October 13, 2021. This is really awesome for later on and referring back to your previous plans. Also the tags, remember tags, you go and add tags to plans, which go and put it into those folders. So this is October. So I'm going to type in October. This is training camp. And I'm going to say it's going to be um, we're going to go into it's more of a offensive zone practice. So let's go and add those drills into the practice plan. Remember the view type, let's turn that on. Well, I don't have a lot of drills right now because I'm just like you. I just signed up with Coach Them. My association just put me on there. So 
I'm going to, I really like that amazing alternate version. If I click on plus, that adds it right into my practice plan. You could click on this little, if you really need to see a bigger version of it, click on this magnifying glass. You're able to see the description and key points. Now let's go into my association. Let's say, um, let's try and find a nice little conditioning practice. Steven's skating drill, like that. Let's go into marketplace. They always have pretty good. Let's uh, click on a skills drill. Let's say a little shooting. Awesome. This would be a great warm up drill. So, and let's throw in one more. Uh, one of my favorite drills the Mike's one verse one. So, let's type in that drill that has pylon in the name. Perfect. The two pylon pivot. The search function searches for personal, team, association, marketplace, and shared. Now let's start organizing our practice. So we probably should start with the three man full ice shots, followed up with the two pylon pivots. And then, yes, this, this looks like very, very good practice. You know what? Before the one verse one, let's go and I'm going to discuss uh, angling. And I think it's going to be about five minutes. Let's do that right before, before this drill. And I think that this, oh, and then Steven's skating drill at the end for a little conditioning. I think this is a pretty good practice plan. Now, also going and putting it right in here allows you to be a little bit more precise. So it is eight o'clock tonight. And let's go and click on save. So let's go and view our practice plan. You're able to click on the individual drill or you're able to expand the whole entire practice, every single drill. As you notice, it's taken our plan and it's put it into the folders that we specified by the tag. And now you're able to search by October 13. You could search by plan one. So it really does, that search engine really does make it convenient. Well, we create an amazing practice plan. Let's go and share it with our coaching staff. So by clicking the share button, pops up, open the window, going to team. Again, clicking on share. Remember, allow edit if you want your assistant coaches to edit the drill and plans. Okay, they receive an email notifying them that there's been a plan shared with them and they're able to view it before they get to the rink. Now, what does the view look like in a smartphone? Check it out. It's pretty cool. But if there is an option that a lot of, some of our coaches go and want a practice plan printed out, well, you could click on the print and what it does is, puts an amazing template together for your practice plan. I coach them, we're all about simplicity. We've added a feature to help you efficiently share drills and plans with your coaching staff. Rather than sharing each drill and plan to your team, you could click the share button next to the personal folder and hand your entire 
plan database to your coaching staff with one click. Hope this helps with onboarding your team to coach them. We've taken you through drills, plans, and how to share them with your coaches. This is a great base to get you started. And if you have any other questions, please check out our resources in our help center. Have a great season.